In this video, we'll explore how to approximate an irregular shape's area. Now, not all shapes can be split easily using the moving or additivity principles. So one other method we can try to use is using graph paper. And what we can do is lay the shape on the graph paper, overestimate how many squares the shape covers, underestimate how many squares the shape covers, and average those two values together. So say I want to find the area of the shape in square meters. If I have graph paper that is in one square meters, I could say that it's one meter by one meter, so that each square represents one square meter. Now I can go through and do my underestimate, and I'm looking for all the shapes inside that are full squares. I don't want any partial squares, just the full squares, and I'm going to add them together. And when I do that, I get 18 squares. And since each is a square meter, I know that's 18 square meters for my underestimate. For my overestimate, I'm going to cover everything. Anything that has a partial touch from a block, I'm going to count as well as the full block, like right here. Just barely comes in here, but I'm going to count that entire block. So I'm going to add all those squares, and I do, I get 46 squares. So that means that's 46 square meters that's covered with my overestimate. I'm going to average my two values together, and that would give me approximately 32 square meters. And that will give me a good idea about what this shape covers. Now say, here's an example where the Hyatt wants to open a new resort near St. Thomas, but they need 7 square miles to make it a functioning resort. They want to know, will this island be large enough to open? So should they purchase it? So the first thing we have to do is recognize what is it that they're using for their graph paper. So if I look at this, there are 10 blocks for this 5 miles and 10 blocks for this 5 miles. That means that each side of the block has to be a half a mile. And since I'm looking at a 1 half mile by a 1 half mile, I know the area of each square would then have to be 1 fourth of a square mile. And that's important as I'm trying to do my underestimate and my overestimate. So I start with my underestimate. I'm going to put in all the blocks I can. Full blocks, no partial blocks. I count them up, I get 13 full squares. Now, i got to pay attention. That means that each of those squares is one-fourth of a square mile. So the area is going to be 13 times that one-fourth which will give me about three and a quarter square miles. I'm going to do the same thing with the overestimate. I'm going to cover everything I can, but if there's any area that is has no shape in it, I'm going to not count it. That's why this one's blue and why these have these curves around here. And when I count all those squares, I get about 59 squares. So what I'm going to do is take my 59 and I'm going to multiply it by that one-fourth of a square mile because that's what each square is worth. I do that, I'm going to get 14 and 3 quarters square miles. So now I need to average my two values. So I'm going to add them together, and I get 18 square miles when I add them. Divide that by 2, that gives me 9 square miles, approximately what this shape covers. So that would tell the resort that it's good to go on and open.